Good afternoon, everyone. I am here on a limited basis or a limited purpose, so I'm going to start this and then turn it over to the experts. The only reason we'd be any further involved in is if we found a criminal in the middle of this sinkhole. So we received a call this afternoon that we needed assistance for traffic on Scott Lake Road, and that's why it's important that you tell everyone that the county is going to block Scott Lake Road because we have a sinkhole at a private road called Aiden Lane and Scott Lake Road just south of Fitzgerald. The sinkhole's growing. We don't know how much bigger it will grow. They're the experts, they'll tell you that. We are going to block the road until the appropriate barricades are put in place. The sinkhole is on private property, so I caution everyone, once the barricades are in place and the work starts, do not come to the area because one, it's dangerous, and two, if you get on private property, you're subject to be criminally charged because you're gonna be in the way of workers that are going to work this afternoon to mitigate the expansion of this sinkhole and work toward a permanent solution. But with that, just a word to the wise, stay off of Scott Lake Road or you're gonna be really backed up in traffic because it's blocked now by deputies and we're going to barricade it off. But I'll turn you over to the experts who can tell you all about the sinkholes, okay? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ben Casisto, Polk County Fire Rescue, the uh, Assistant Chief of Operations. At approximately 12.50 this afternoon, we were dispatched uh, to a potential sinkhole in the area of Scott Lake and Fitzgerald. Upon our uh, team's arrival, we found an approximately 75 foot hole that had opened up in the ground. Um, roadway and maintenance had been monitoring the hole since this morning. It's grown uh, in size at this time. Um, we've evaluated three homes that are in the area. Two of those homes, the folks have been notified of the potential evacuation. At this time, there's no structural damage and we're gonna continue to monitor the incident until it's brought under control. I'll turn the scene over to Jay Jarvis. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jay Jarvis. I'm the Roads and Drainage Director for Polk County. Uh, we received contact this morning regarding the fact that there was a sinkhole in the area. The initial reports was it was actually on Scott Lake Road. Uh, staff came out, looked at that, determined it was not in the roadway, but off the roadway associated with a private development. We then um, got some information from the water management district about if they were investigating the sinkhole, they are investigating the sinkhole. Um, and then we then determined that at this time it wasn't a threat to the roadway. When, this afternoon we started getting more phone calls that the sheriff's office and fire rescue had been contacted. And so we came back out this afternoon. Uh, it was then determined that the sinkhole had grown to some extent, the cracking around the sink, top of the sinkhole had moved closer. Um, at this time, it's, it's not currently a threat to the roadway, but because of the traffic running the roadway and what vibration can do to a sinkhole and cause it to, to collapse further, we, we did agree that we would close the road down. And as uh, Sheriff Judge said, that's what we're, we're doing. We will continue it closed pretty much until we feel that it, it's stabilized. We'll continue to monitor the area. If there is an immediate threat to the roadway, then uh, further action will be taken by the county. But because it is on private property at this time, the operation is kind of being handled by the, the property owner, the developer, and their engineer. And so they're working to address it. And so, um, if it, like I said, if it becomes a further issue, then the county may get involved with regards to assisting with that if it's a, th a definite threat to the roadway or the roadway starts to look like it may have some failures to it. So can you speak to what their thinking created the sinkhole as far as the hole thing? Well, there's many things that, that, that cause sinkholes. Some of them we don't completely understand. Usually it has to do with something with weather changes. Typically there's a lot of rain and it dry, those types of things. Um, we are aware that there was a well drilled in this area um, and we've been told that when the well was being drilled about 100 and 
uh, 80 feet, they hit, got broke through something, a hard layer, and then it was pretty much a void down to like 300 feet. And so the, what the assumption is, and then they said they started seeing uh, depression start to occur, and that we assume that those two are somehow connected um, and basically created the void that then allowed the material above it to basically start breaking through that confining layer and that's what's occurring. That's typically what a sinkhole is. It's just somehow there's a fracture of some sort in a confining layer that allows material to go through it and then it basically continues to go through until it stabilizes itself or until something's done to basically stabilize it. Piercing the limestone basically and allowing the material to flow. Yeah, some confining layer, whether it was lime rock at that time, I'm not sure, but that, that's pretty typical. There's a lime rock layer. What company was drilling that well? I do not know. Because it was they were hired by the private uh, developer. It was a well for, for their development. Well, and you guys said this road is going to be closed until those proper blockades are in place. Do you have an estimate as to how long that will take? It really depends how we feel about once they start stabilizing the area. If we feel it's been stabilized to the point that we're not concerned about further depression occurring, then we'll probably open the road up at that time, but I can't give you a time frame. When you say stabilize the area, can you uh, talk about what that typically entails? Well, what they're proposing to do right now to, to try to prevent the, the hole from opening up anymore is basically start backfilling the hole as it exists to try to stabilize those sides so they don't continue to slough off. Typically for a sinkhole, the ultimate fix is you have to grout the void to basically create a hard, almost like a concrete column underneath that to close that off. And then you can backfill on top of that to seal it up. And that, that's typically the process, but they'll have to have a geotechnical consulting firm that deals with those types of things come in and address that. Jay, any concerns about the drinking water, what's going into the aquifer in this area? Not at this time. We haven't heard anything from any of the property owners about their concerns of any drinking water from wells in the area. How but fast is it growing? Is it growing like faster than normal? Is it at a normal pace? Or? It's, it, I don't know what the normal pace is of a sinkhole to develop. It's just, it's kind of dependent upon the circumstances that are occurring relative to the groundwater movement, the vibrations in the area, those types of things are typically what cause it to continue. And then as things settle, even underneath the ground, it creates another area for stuff to come down and through, and that, that'll typically open some things up. So there's the potential, once again, it's, it, there's no hard, fast rule as far as how quickly these happen or open up and get to their maximum or not. What are we hearing for the residents that are in this subdivision? Is there another way for them to leave? Yes, the, there's nobody that I'm aware of in the new subdivision that was built. There's a couple of property owners further up the hill and they will have access. And then the ones on the other side of what we know is the Scott Lake outfall, they have access to Fitzgerald Road, which will be remain open. Is there concern for the safety of people in the homes that are backed up right against the sinkhole? They have, I think fire rescue reached out and the building division has gone by and notified those residents of what's going on and um, you know that's up to the individual if they want to leave their home or not leave their home but they have been notified that there is a sinkhole immediately adjacent how much closer does it have to get before it's like mandatory they have to get out i don't know what what the requirements are relative to what the building division says and what the immediate threat is so I, I, that's something i can't answer the backfill operation uh, is that starting immediately overnight they are working to get the equipment and material here currently um, and then it will basically probably last until dark and then tomorrow morning they'll continue on if they don't complete it today. So Scott Lake will be closed at least until midday tomorrow? At le I would say at least until sometime tomorrow at the earliest. Okay, thank you. That's all the time we have. Um, we will be providing full footage for you guys if you'd like that. Um, We'll have a link to a Dropbox with some footage and photographs. Um, that's all we have this time. Can you see the size of the hole? I heard 75 feet wide. Do you know how deep it is? Any idea? Guesstimate? No. When they punched through at 180, they went to 300 according to what they told us. So it, it appears that we've got at least a 120 foot cavern, and then you have the width of it, and it's still active but the county is is on this and monitoring it every second and certainly if they need us back out here 
will show back up, but we have an active sinkhole at this point. Okay, thank y'all.